<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be opening a package from Bob Trub Trubby's brand name Pencils. Um, I ordered some pencils, some vintage ones, and I'm going to open those up right now. I was planning to save the to open these, but I have a few uh, packages that I have ordered from Amazon, so I figured I'd open it up and see what I have. So, I'm going to take... Yeah. Oh, let me just peel this off. I did not even have to use the knife. I'm trying to do this on camera, but not with... I'm gonna see. Okay. Here are the pencils. Okay, so right there. I'm gonna save this box. I always tend to save these boxes. Alright. Here we go. Now we got the uh, packing slip. Okay, time to open. Alright, wow, okay. So, we got ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow. He put an extra in there. Okay. Well, guys, he uh, put an extra pencil in there. Um, uh, probably because one of the pencils he couldn't find, so that's really awesome. Uh, I've seen, I've heard of these. Um, they're the Musgrave Tennessee Red Cedar. These are really awesome. So, I'm going to be excited to test that out. Um, that's really exciting. Okay. Now, on to the pencils. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a uh, Eberhard Faber Decoro 2B. Um, this one looks like it's from the 90s, judging by how the printing is labeled. So, I'm guessing this one's from at least the 90s, maybe early 2000s. So, Alright, next we have... This one, this is a uh, Van Dyke by Eberhard Faber, and it's a 7H, so it's going to be very, very hard. Um, it's still a really cool pencil. I, ha I don't own one of these Van Dykes, so I'm really excited to finally own one. Next, we have a Venus Drawing in an 8H. Uh, this is made in the USA. Um, it has kind of a ridged uh, end cap. Uh, Venus Drawing 8H, so this is for, yep, drawing, and, yep, that one's really cool. I like the crackle finish on it. It's very, very cool. Alright, next is the General's Mercury. Now, this one was a little bit more expensive, and I, I think this one's a little bit more rare of a pencil. You don't really see pencils like this too often, so... It's fairly rare, which is nice, so I'm really happy to get that one. That one's really cool. Now on to the vintage, vintage ones. This one is a, a long ferrule pencil. Um, as you can see, it has the elongated ferrule. Uh, this one is Double Day Bros and Co's Extra Quality. So this one, it doesn't say what the uh, grade on this pencil is, but this one has a long ferrule variety, and I don't own many long ferrule pencils, so I'm excited to own this one. 
and add it to my collection. This next one is from World War II. Um, this one is a Dixon Ticonderoga 1386, number 3. Now, the reason I can tell it's from World War II is because of this plastic pharaoh. Now, when during World War II, they needed metal pharaohs for the war, so they put these plastic ones on the, on the pencil, so to kind of save material. Um, the eraser is actually still usable, it looks like. Um, but yeah, this one's from World War II, and it's in really nice shape. So, I'm really happy to get that one. Another uh, little bit of history right there. Next, we have the Blaisdell Ben Franklin 500. And this is a uh, medium hard pencil. So, this is number three, which is, I think, F or H. I can't remember. But it's made by Blaisdell. And Blaisdell makes some really, uh, really cool pencils, so I'm really happy that I got that one. Um, I love the white band. You don't see that too often, and it's, again, it's a really nice, high-quality pencil. Next, we have the uh, Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado. Now, this one uh, looks like it's before World War II, um, because you don't see the gold ferrule until after World War II, so I'm assuming this one's from after World War II, I mean before World War II, so like late 30s to, I mean, like, uh, like maybe like, I'm, it's definitely in some, some time, sometime in the 1900s, but probably like late 30s to early 1900s is when this was made. But it's in, again, really good shape. Um, judging by the Bloodfast moniker, this is probably slightly before World War II. Which, these pencils tend to be extremely rare, which is uh, a really nice feature. And this is 3H, so it's going to be uh, pretty hard. So that one's exciting. And then the last two, this one is Dixon's Ticonderoga, uh, 1386 number 2. This one has a gold ferrule and two gold bands, except they're in a different position. If you see, if you take these two, you'll notice the one on the top, that's the Typhonite, those bands are evenly spaced, whereas this pencil, they are closer together. So this one, I'm assuming, was made a little bit before the Typhonite, which makes it really, uh, really, uh, more, a little bit more rare. Uh, it tends to be the older pencils are the more rare ones, so, yep, that one's a really nice, uh, high-quality pencil. Number two, which is HB grade. And then the last one, this one I'm extremely excited for, because... Um, I have this design of Mongol before, except I don't have the 480 variant, which the 480 variant is the round version of this pencil, so this one's round as you can see. I have a uh, Mongol 480 that's the newer newer design of the Mongol, it's, and it's the same one, and it's number, I think number three or two. But this one is an older design. Even though it's number four, it's a really it's an older design, and it's round, so that makes it more rare, which is an awesome. I love that. So again, another awesome made pencil. And of course, with all of these, he he also gives me a sticker. Um, this is a brand name pencil sticker. I know I'm I know where I'm gonna be putting this. So that's again amazing. Thank you, uh, Bob Trubby from Brand Name Pencils. I'm extremely happy that I got these. So let me count: one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten right there, and he put in an extra one, which is again awesome.
So, thank you so much um, for watching. And thank you again, Bob Trubby, for uh, being so nice and uh, letting me know about those two pencils. And it was really awesome uh, looking through these and kind of seeing the history on kind of what makes these pencils unique. So, I'm really happy. I'm going to kind of now take the camera and I'm going to show you each pencil except while holding the camera. So, uh, here's the first one. This is the uh, Musgrave Genuine Tennessee Red Cedar. And this one has a gold ferrule. This one's like, was made really recently. Um, which... It doesn't really matter to me. I love the style of this, and it's really, really high quality. Musgrave makes really high quality made pencils. So, again, I'm really happy to get this one. Um, it was an extra that was thrown in, um, because I got my 10 here. So, um, this one is kind of an extra that he threw in, just because those other two he couldn't find. So, that's really nice of him to do. So, anyway, uh... Thank you so much um, uh, for watching, but I keep saying that. Thank you so much, Bob Trubby, for sending me all these, and thank you so much for the extra one. That's really nice. Now, here's the uh, Decoro. Decoro 1100, 1 equals 2B. My camera's having trouble focusing, but it has kind of a green end cap right there. And then here is the Van Dyke Microatomic Graphite 7H Van Dyke Eberhard Faber. There you go. That one's also a really nice pencil. That one looks like it's from like the 50s. Um, this one looks like it's from like 90s, 80s, 90s. Venus Drawing Made in USA 3800 8H. So, that one's extremely hard. I think it's the hardest out of all of these, except it still has a pretty nice core. The lead centered really well, and I, I think it's a really cool pencil. I don't have many of these ones with the uh, crackle finish, so I think that's a really nice touch to this pencil. And it has kind of a pointed end, if you can see that. And then, the uh, Mercury... Uh, this is by Generals, and this one um, I kind of like because there's a uh, coin uh, that also is called Mercury. It's on my mat, actually. This is a uh, Rob Finds Treasures mat, and it's called the Mercury Dime. So the, they also kind of have that uh, winged, winged uh, moniker of kind of like a... Uh, Famous figure, and that's on here, too. The kind of winged mer Mercury. And I'm assuming it's named after the uh, ancient Greek legend Mercury. I think they called him Mercury because of the wings on his head. It was kind of, it wasn't, it was kind of like a decoration. So I'm assuming that's what this one's named after. And it looks, it looks pretty rare, so... Uh, this, uh, this is probably one that I'll only have one in my collection, and I am, I'm still happy to have it, just because it really, uh, it really has some nice, it really has a nice paint job, and I like how it's blue, uh, paint and a blue eraser. That one kind of, this one kind of reminds me of the, uh, Jewel by Eberhard Faber. That one was also for sale, and I was really tempted to get that one, but I stuck with this one. Because it was a little bit more. I, I kind of liked the design more. But it's still a really cool pencil. This one is long ferrule pencils. And of course, I love pencils with a long ferrule. It just shows the history. And you can see that right there. It has some really nice detail. Um, and you notice that it's left-handed print. So uh, I'm left-handed. So that's really cool for me. So this one definitely is really this it's my one of my favorite ones of this lot. Um and then the uh Ticonderoga has the uh uh World War II era ferrule. So that one's also really cool. 
Then this one, the Ben Franklin. Um, again, I'm super happy to get these, though, this one. Um, I don't have this exact design. I have a Ben Franklin in number one, which is really smooth. But I don't have it this kind of same design. It's a different design, actually. So, there you go. You know, that's a, also another really great pencil. Um, then the Dixon Ticonderoga 1386. That one's also really cool. Same with this Type Knight. This one's also, this one's going to be one of my favorites as well. I'm really happy to get that one. And this one. This one's also uh, awesome. It's round. So, there you go. Anyway, uh, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to upload the, because I'm filming this video right now, I'm going to be uploading, um, start uploading on this Wednesday, today's Monday, uh, June 15th, I believe, and I'm going to be, st I'm going to start filming, um, on the 17th, which is a Tuesday, this Tuesday, so, see, you'll see more videos then, I've been filming a lot of videos lately, and I've been, I have already one that I filmed in advance, so this one's all, I'm pretty sure, I'm not, I'm not completely sure, but I think this one's gonna be filmed in advance as well, and then I'll upload it, um, after Tuesday, so, anyway, um, that is it. Uh, see you guys next time. Love you. Peace.